Lemon Likes! Hey! Welcome to another Lemon Likes! As you can tell from my channel, I love making things by hand. I've been making things and sharing them under the name Sea Lemon for a while now. In fact, circa 2009, I was actually part of a handmade collective in my local area. We would meet up and participate in craft fairs together. Hey, there's me! It was a fun experience to meet others who share a passion for their craft. In this video, I want to share with you some of my favorite people who make and share their awesome handmade things. To start, I want to introduce you to some of the awesome ladies who were a part of the handmade collective I was in. Meet Ashley from Against the Grain. She makes one-of-a-kind jewelry inspired by nature's oddities. Her pieces are organic, simple, and have a raw, earthy quality to them, which I love. I still wear one of her necklaces, which I got years ago, and I still love it. It has bark inside. I don't know if you can see that here. You can find more about Ashley and her jewelry at ashleyweber.com. Next, meet Jennifer from Sai Fu. She makes cute and awkwardly adorable plushies, which she calls foos. Not only is each foo unique in the design, but they are also made of recycled sweaters. I'd have to say my favorites are the Angry Lemon and the Teeth, which have a pocket in the back for the Tooth Fairy. Check out more of the Fu family in her shop at saifu.etsy.com. Now meet Chapa from Chapa Land. She makes really cool jewelry and accessories. She believes recycling objects presents challenges which inspire her to think outside of the box. I love the edgy raw and kind of dark chic quality that comes through in her pieces. I especially like her geometric jewelry and clutches. Be sure to check out her shop at chopaland.etsy.com. Now I want to transition to a couple of my favorites on YouTube. This video wouldn't be complete without mentioning Threadbanger. They were really one of the first DIY channels I started watching on YouTube. I love the DIY culture and personality they put into their videos. Rob's approach to projects is fun to watch and Corinne makes such a cool host. They continue to share so many cool projects and stay true to their hardcore DIY style. If you haven't already, definitely go and check out their channel and subscribe. A new favorite channel of mine is HGTV Handmade. It includes some of my favorite YouTubers and introduced me to some new ones. This channel has a new video almost every day of the week, each hosted by one of the crafty ladies in the group. I actually knew about Meg from watching Threadbanger and following her own channel, Meg Allen Cole Crafts. I had been following Karen's vlogs and also knew about Julia from Simple DIYs. So when I saw that they were all in this new channel of handmade awesomeness, I had to subscribe. It's introduced me to more of Marianne's crafts, who I was actually in a collab with, and you can check out that playlist here, and a new favorite DIYer, Anne Lee. Check out HGTV Handmade in the link in the description below, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of their videos. I really admire all the creative people mentioned in this video. It's inspiring to see people who have stood by their craft and continue to put love into the things they make by hand. I encourage you to check out all the people mentioned in this video in the description below. If you like this video, click that like button. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel, Sea Lemon. You can also check out these lemon likes here. And of course you can find DIY videos on my channel. And for more Sea Lemon, follow those social links listed right there below.